measures. And let's do it by using ratios to convert different units to another. Well, like we'll use this ratio sometimes centimeters to meters if we're converting meters to centimeters or vice versa. We'll use the liter to the milliliter since there's a thousand milliliters in a liter when converting liters to milliliters and vice versa. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check out how to turn 1300 grams into kilograms. What do we need to know first? Well, that there's a thousand grams in a kilogram. So we could set up two different ratios, a thousand grams over one kilogram or one kilogram over a thousand grams. And the question is, which one are we going to use? Well, we want grams to kilograms. And I've got a really great trick here. Grams is the one you want to get rid of. So let's make sure 1300 kilograms, you want to get rid of grams, that's going to be 1300 over one. Let's make sure our conversion measure has the grams on the bottom so the units cancel. So it'll look like this. Okay, because when we do that, the grams cancel. And then I just multiply the numerators and denominators. And we get 13 kilograms over a thousand. Now I love to multiply, to divide by numbers that are the power of 10 because it's simple. You just move that decimal. So 1300 kilograms, the decimal's right there. Divided by 10, decimal moves in one. Divided by 100, moves in another. And then 1,000, it's 1 1.3 kilograms. Next, how are we going to convert five meters into centimeters? Well, what do we need to know? One meter equals 100 centimeters. And remember what I said, we want the ratio that puts the, the measure you're trying to get rid of on the bottom. So that's right. We want to put the 100 centimeters over a meter and take it times five. That's right. Five over one. Meters are going to cancel. 500 over one and 500 centimeters. Last one. A car's fuel efficiency is given as 30 miles per gallon. What would be the fuel efficiency in kilometers per liters? All right. We need to know the miles to kilometers and we need to know one gallon to liters. So what do we do first? Well, we have 30 miles to the gallon. Let's get rid of those miles and go to kilometers. So how are we going to make that as a conversion factor? Miles on the bottom. That's right. So we're going to take 30 over one gallon times 1.609 kilometers over a mile. As you can see, the miles will cancel. I'm left with 48.27 kilometers per gallon, but we want liters. So I've got to use my other conversion factor here and put gallons on top this time. And you'll see our gallons cancel out. So we're going to be left with kilometers per liter, but we want per one liter. So we have to divide 4.827 divided by 3.875, and we get 12.46, which is rounded to the nearest hundredth kilometers per liter.